Mike Trueblood from Las Vegas, Nevada. Jonathan Arsenault from Las Vegas, Nevada. So this is your guys' first World Strongest Man? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. You have VIP for all five days too, right? Correct. Yes, correct. It was worth it. So, thoughts? Go ahead. No, you go. Okay, um, it's, it's overwhelming actually. It's, there's a lot. Watching the sport at home is so different than actually being here and actually seeing them in person. I, have, I, I find myself like talking to myself in my head the way I talk to the TV when I watch it at home. And, Yelling and screaming and hollering. It's very much like any other athletic event. Like the, the, the South loves football, mm -hmm. but this reminds me a lot of the people who love like college football and like, get to scream and yell at it. It's a lot of fun and it's very surprisingly diverse. Mm -hmm. I think that was what just made me really happy with it. And seeing like knowing the backstory of certain legends like Brian Shaw, like Bibby, and you know getting that history in has been really really fun, educational. Yeah. For me. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely been a great experience, um, you know, pushing through the weather from today and all that kind of stuff and uh, getting to meet the actual athletes and everything and uh, it's definitely kind of a surreal experience as well. Um, but yeah, everybody's been really great and diverse and nice and, you know, it's been a really interesting experience for sure. Yeah, let's talk about that weather for a second. It was thunderstorms, it was oh, yeah. raining hard, it was wind, raining sideways, it, it, oh, it was terrible this morning. Yes. It, it was chaos, but it was it was handled well. I, I It was very intimidating to walk up and see the street blocked off and the crowd of people and not know where to go. Mm -hmm. You know, the information itself was you mostly found on Twitter to get, you know, what time is the, are the events starting. And then I had a friend who was in the crowd sending me messages going, they're announcing this, they're announcing this. So that was a challenge, but, you know, it's it was it was doable. It was very, we navigated it well, I think. Yeah, it definitely kept everybody pretty well informed, both through social media and everything. And uh, we're able to kind of push through all the events or kind of shift accordingly. And we cleared up for the last event, so we kind of sat up here in VIP and we had this CCTV footage of that. So that's not that's not too bad. I think that's great. So, other than that, what is your experience with getting pictures with the athletes or autographs, or did you see the fan experience on the other side of the street just yet? Or we haven't walked over there fully. I we we passed by it on the way in. Um, I would say they've been nothing, most of them, about 90% of them have been nothing but kind. If, you know, if they don't want to, they're very gracious about saying no. There are a few that are not as cooperative, which I wish they would be a little more. I, I, I think that their fans are what make them so popular, and I think they need to, I really respect the ones that actually take the time out to talk and get to know their fans. I think it's really, you know, my experience has been nothing but great with certain people, certain athletes and then, you know, eh, with others. but. But for, for a VIP experience, it's been great. Yeah. Even just taking a moment just to take a picture. I mean, if anything, even if they're on their way somewhere or what have you, you know, it's nice to have that interaction at least, if it, even if it's not extensive. Yep. Heck, I think I've fist bumped Brian Shaw twice now, and I feel good yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, Mitch has been walking around all weekend. He was taking pictures in the rain this morning, yeah. so super gracious for that. Z has just been walking by. Thumbs up, everybody. everybody yeah. It's everybody. been great. He's everywhere. It's incredible how much he's been out. See, Gavin. Gavin has been so so. Yes, today. Gavin's great, too. So I was super impressed with how, you know, he just is out there, wants to talk, wants to get to know the people that like him. And that, that's, that's such a level of respect I think. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm happy that the guys are, you know, people who didn't get to the finals are staying because normally they would send them home. If you didn't make the finals, you were typically, you know, had your plane ticket and you were going home while the finals were going on. So I'm kind of happy that they're letting them stay and spend more time with us, the fans. So, so that's great. Like Paul Smith was up here. Uh, Kane Francis was up here. Yes. They were just watching on the TV along with us. Yes. And finally, who do you think is going to win? I'm hoping Tom will come through and Tom Stover will close this out. I, I love Luke and I love Brian Shaw, so any of those three, I'm down for. Mm -hmm. I Same. I, I, I think Tom's probably going to take it, but I'd be happy with him or Luke or Brian. Okay, great. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed the last day of World's Strongest Man tomorrow. Well, yes. see, I love it so far. Yeah, definitely. Awesome.